Bismillahirrahman, because you're asking me this question, you, then I'm going to have to wash you up a little bit. If somebody else asks a question, I'm not going to wash them up. You've been listening to this. So how many times have I said, if you come with the wrong intention, change your intention to become a right one. How many more sohbats do we have to hear? Hmm? How many times have I said, and this is what Sheriff and he had said, once you start changing your intentions, even if your intentions are wrong and your actions are wrong, you change those intentions and you change those actions. Allah will not only forgive you, but He will make those actions and those intentions that you have made that are wrong, He will turn them to make them to be right. And He will make the actions that you've done wrong actions to be right actions and He will reward you for it. That's why there's huge mercy in this religion. Because in other religions, to even think a wrong thing is like you committed it. That is very heavy. That was a shariat then. To even think you're going to commit something, it is already a crime. But in Islam, to think is just between you and your Lord. To commit, then you're going to have witnesses. To think a wrong thing, and you decide not to do it, not only you will not be punished, but you will be rewarded. To think a good thing, and you don't get to commit it, you will also be rewarded. And in this way, in this religion, you think something wrong, and you did something wrong. And you ask for forgiveness. And you start to take steps to fix it. It will become right. And in reality, that is what is happening in this world. That is the law of this dunya. Isn't it? You may think, for example, that you want to kill someone. Can the law of any country convict you for thinking that? Not speaking, not writing. I'm not even talking about free speech. I'm just thinking. Can anyone punish you for that? It's impossible. So now in Islam, there's a big mercy that comes to you. You did something wrong, you're running to fix it. Right. Some people, they may come to tariqat for wrong reasons. But after that, they understand this is correct. Then they correct themselves. Maybe they come here just to eat. That's okay, come, eat. They're not here to find any opening. They're not here to find any closeness to Allah. They're not here to find closeness to themselves to worship Allah. Nothing. They're just coming here to eat. Or worse, eat is not bad. Worse, they're coming here to pick a fight with someone or to make a fitna. Then they sit and something happens to them and it changes. And they decide to stay. Now they're going to ask for forgiveness for that wrong intention that they have. According to their sincerity, Allah will forgive. It is very easy for us. The door of forgiveness and rahmat, it is flung wide open. For that servant who understands for that servant who is still proud and arrogant and stubborn and they don't understand, he will not find a needle hole. You understand? Inshallah. You understand. This much is enough. Wa min Allahu tawfiq. Al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Have a good night.